Hey friends, welcome back. So in the last video, we have seen everything about Git static props and Git static paths. Now we are very close to start uh, the actual work in our project, right? So this is our project and uh, here we have some routes, right? We have created sign up, sign in page and home page and the post pages, uh, fetching data statically or incremental uh, generation of the pages, everything, right? In this video, we are going to understand Git server side props and that is not complex. Uh, uh, like this get static props and get static paths. Now in this video we are going to understand get server side props and it is not complex as like this get static props and get static paths, right? So let's understand quickly get server side props. Let's go to the code and here is our pages and here is our post directory and uh, here we have something, right? And let's Profile. Let's try the profile. Okay, so here we're gonna say profile and index.js, and here we're gonna use export cons to get server side props. And this is going to be an async function because we are gonna do some call. And here it takes a parameter ctx. Right. CTX, or you can also dynamically get the parameters, uh, the structure on the same line. So here, let's see what do we have. Do we have any JSON placeholder for users? Mm -hmm. Users. Okay, cool. So we have this users and slash to the user ID. Just copy. And here we're gonna say profile. Uh, const q equals to await fetch and place this one and here this is dynamic right uh, so this is here we are expecting some variable so i will say variable right and here we have ctx and and we, we, we will show you something let's first write this code const and then he'll say uh, user response equals to await u dot json and then we are going to return something from here props and here we're going to say user user response if exists fine otherwise we are going to give it null okay so user response is here and here we are sending user so user is accessible over here and say user and here we're going to say json dot stringify user comma two right so it will be like two parts uh two and uh, here this profile index.js this needs to be a dynamic right uh, let will say rename square bracket and here will say user id square bracket fine and and here we're gonna say uh, ctx and if you go to the documentation which i want to show so get server type props and here it gives you params and then it gives you requests so this is kind of like uh, if you want to uh, authenticate a user you need cookie and that cookie can be accessible by request and you have response query uh, the url parameters and then props the optional object right that you can send not found if you want to send user like if, if it is like invalid path then you can also make like not found true so it, it, is, it, is, it is going to reload 404 page so here i want to say query let's say query and contacts say query so from query uh, we want id right so we'll say over uh, query dot id right so this is a user's id and save this now let's try to run this so let's go to this and we'll say slash file slash 2 and 404 because we are not running our dev environment okay we'll say npm run dev So here you can see how we are getting user details and the user ID of that user is 2 and if I will say 3 every time I will get 
uh, the proper response without any reload right uh, so this is server side rendered page it means the page is creating on runtime not at the build time right if i go and see inspect and let's go to the network and let's reload here you see this is a page request and this is a preview so we are getting the data uh, perfectly fine right so every time i will uh, set a new user and i will get data related to that user right so the data got changed and here is this uh, this is the request every time it is making a request and a page is uh, getting created on a runtime environment and then it is getting served so here we go and uh, we have vs code and uh, so what what we have a name and uh, name that's name and username yeah let's take name and username okay cool uh, here we'll say a uh, user dot name and then a line break slash user dot email and here we're gonna say class name equals to container okay let's remove this and yeah so here we are getting chelsea that and the and his email let's try some other id say five and here we have got chelsea okay let's try something else six and now this uh, user got changed dennis right so every time it's making a request creating page on the server in the runtime environment and then serving it so yes this is how it works and if you try something like that user doesn't exist let's say something random number and here it is blank screen the request and nothing is there so probably uh, the user is not there and uh, that's why getting, getting null and here you can see if we are not getting a user in that case what it prints console.log and say user console here it is the user and the user is empty object okay nothing is there so here we go and if user is valid then uh, if user is invalid then we'll make it uh, true and then return a div uh, invalid user id okay see let's try reload and okay something wrong we'll say check dot keys keys dot length if length is zero it means false we'll make this thing true yeah so we we got this invalid user id network and here is let's reload and here it is invalid user okay invalid user ID. so you have to give a right user id so this is how it is working and if you let's fix this because it's looking looking bad a uh, stroke line cap some some property and i even don't know what is that property but we have definitely uh, used bootstrap and theme from the get bootstrap right so uh, that's why it's coming so it is like a stroke line stroke what is that stroke So yes, so stroke, uh, well, this is not the standard of react. So it, it has to be stroke line cap and stroke line join and stroke width. And that's all. Save. Let's reload. No error. It's fine, right? You go and check over here no error in the terminal also so this is working fine we have seen how to use get server side props how we can uh, generate a page on the runtime environment right so all of this uh, strategy we are going to use in our project that's the reason i'm showing you everything right so thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe have a nice day bye bye